Hi guys, this is Stundi E from Border Work and welcome to our 2014 uh, Carrier LT test between Metro PCS, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon and AT&T. So these are basically uh, five networks uh, that have LTE coverage. And the reason I'm going with five because Boost Mobile also has LTE. And um, this is an unscientific test. So of course, there are, there are no scientific measures here, except using the speed test dot, uh, speed test, uh, dot net uh, application. And I'm going to use that. Um, and this test will be based in the Boston area. So again, speeds vary between your location. And I'm going to go through each device here just to show you what I have. Uh, now, um, I've decided to use all Android phones to kind of just give it the same playing field. So it's not, say, an iPhone or Windows phone so people can shouldn't won't complain and say well if you did it on android it would be faster so they're all android devices not the same android device i wish i could do say a samsung device all across but this is what i have so anyway the first device here on the far left this is the boost mobile max um, this is the boost max sorry uh on boost mobile and um this is a 4g lt capable device of course boost mobile uh, is, runs on the sprint network so just to let you know that now the next device here is the htc one max now the one max this is available on sprint and this also has the sprint spark so if we look at it in the top right hand corner you see that spinning circle right there that is the sprint spark uh lte it's an lte capable device so it's got that the latest technology lte capable technology on the sprint network now i'm not exactly sure how spark works but pretty much spark should be the best thing you want for um, a sprint user next up here is samsung so and see if there are any logos around so boost max doesn't have a logo um this doesn't have a sprint logo on there um but you can see sprint zone right there just to show you that each device is from each carrier and um the next one here is from t-mobile the samsung galaxy note 3 T-Mobile at the back here, and it's 4G LTE T-Mobile. Uh, next up here for Verizon, we have the uh, Droid, uh, um, the Droid Max here. Uh, this is on Verizon. You can see, of course, the typical Verizon device, 4G LTE on Verizon, and then we have the uh, LG G Flex here on AT and T. You can see the AT and T logo at the back. So those are our five devices. Now the test is very simple. Um, I've run um, I've run a test already on these device and I'll show you the full length of stuff we've done But for this video, we're going to run three tests back to back on each device I'll record it down. So I have the trusty handy notebook here. So it's LTE We do have just one bar on there though, although it says 4G LTE. So let's see what speeds we get. So we're going to run that 4G LTE speeds. Hopefully that ping. So I'm going to pan to the side there Zoom in a little closer for you So it's doing pretty well. Good speeds, uh, Boost Mobile. Um, right now it's pinging around 21 download. Uh, I'm not going to speed through anything. I'm going to run this so you guys can see uh, and uh, I show you. So basically bear with me that this might be a lengthy video, but just to show you who has the best LTE coverage. Well, in the Boston area anyway, uh, for you at this time. So we've got the first one, 21 0.96 and 6.19 run that again second time so boost mobile is giving some impressive speeds now mind you this is a pre pre carry i think the plan started 55 uh dollars or so on the unlimited plan so that's pretty cool that you can actually get those, those kind of lte speeds again i'm not trying to pick any carry over the other but i'm just trying to showcase and it looks like there's some consistency there, 21.71 megabits per second. And uh, we'll probably get roughly around the same speeds. Now I'm doing this test at night. Um, it's around um, roughly 1.30 in the morning. I figured this would be the best time to do it because then you have no latency on each carry. And the third time, last time on Boost Mobile. So a few people on the network right now. So which means I should get probably the best amount of speeds in total from that. Now it looks like the third one is slowing down a little bit here. Um, let's move it up a little bit more. Looks like it's going to be consistent again. So 
and we'll do the averages of all three speeds and you guys can definitely check out and see um, how that pans out. 6.38. All right, so that's Boost Mobile there, Boost Mobile, and that's the speed you get from that. So let's go over to Sprint. So we have the HTC One Max there, and we're going to start test, just restart, run that test. We've got LTE, uh, we've got uh, the Sprint Spark spinning over there, and uh, see what uh, Sprint gives us for LTE speeds. It's kind of slowing down a little bit. So 13.30. Upload speed's a little better. Seven point zero one. Let's restart that test again. Again, this is not scientific. I'm just showing you what speed test I'm getting at the moment as I hit the button. So that should give you a good idea of what we're getting. So sprint right now is currently lagging behind a little bit on the download speeds. Uploads, it's 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 kind of past uh, Boost Mobile, which uh, basically is technically part of the same company. Fourteen point three three. Looks like the uploads are doing slightly better again. So we're gonna end up around at 6.7 something roughly here. And we go 6.79. And last one for the uh, Sprint network. Again, this is running on the Sprint Spark, which is the latest technology Sprint is using. And uh, it's one they've been pushing out a lot of devices. I know as far as some of the Sprint Spark devices are the HTC One Max, the Galaxy S4 Mini, I can't remember the other devices, but uh, if you want basically the best service on Sprint, you need to get a device that has Sprint Spark. So we have 14.89. So the downloads have been steady at that uh, 14 range, roughly, uh, for Sprint. Uploads are slightly higher, um, not by much. Again, we'll tabulate everything at the very end, 6.40. Okay, so that is the Sprint Network. Now let's move to T-Mobile right there. So this is T-Mobile here with the Galaxy uh, Note 3. And let's restart that test. Go 4G LTE, says 4G LTE and T-Mobile. Wow. All right, T-Mobile is really out for some competition right now. Let's see what we get into. We got 36.58 T-Mobile. And those are some impressive upload speeds. So the upload speeds are much higher, which would be great. So I guess if I'm on the road, I need to upload. Um, it looks like T-Mobile is trying to offer a better upload speed ranking, 18.36. Do one more restart there again. So we've got two more to roll. Again, we're going to give the average tally of all these devices. Uh, see where they land, see what we get, uh, that kind of stuff. All right, 335.84. So we're looking at the 35 range for, it looks like that would probably be the average for the download speeds on T-Mobile. And uploads are hanging around that 18 range again, 18.54. So one more test on T-Mobile right there and see what else we have. Okay. So again, T-Mobile is really pushing it. Wow, 38.23. Uh, and again, we're probably gonna get, it's probably gonna end up close to that 18 range. I might actually, this might actually end up lower. <clears throat> and this is 17.69. So it looks like T-Mobile's claim of having better LTE service has been, uh, might be proven here by a, a little test. So. Let's move over to Verizon. Verizon is right here. This is the Droid Max on Verizon. And so let's go ahead and crank that up on Verizon and zoom a little closer so we can actually pay attention to Verizon here. So we're just gonna slide this across this way and hit that for Verizon. <clears throat> See what we get. Okay, so Verizon is pushing, it's pushing, ah, okay. Slowly getting there, but it's it's definitely competing. Um, ah, pretty nice. So pretty close to what we, we were looking at at uh, T-Mobile also. But it's a little lower, 34. 
0.57. Let's see, this kind of shut down on us. And then we're getting 10.58 for uploads. So it's a little slower there. Um, let's do a second test. So we got just two more tests to run before we finally switch to AT&T. All right, so the, uh, now this upload speeds are pushing real high. Trying to hit that, match that T-Mobile mark there. Slow down a little bit. So we ended up with 29.46. And it's going to be roughly around in the 12 range here for the second one. Um, uh, upload speeds for Verizon Wireless uh, 12.91. Now, mind you, Verizon... Uh, pretty much was the first LTE carrier, so probably has the most amount of users on LTE. So that's something just to note. Not saying not saying that that's an excuse or anything like that, but they do have they were they were the first ones in the market with LTE. So um, you know they probably have the widest amount of users range and things like that. Really pushed it on that last one. They had thirty eight point one three. And uh, upload speeds. Uh, it's but this might end, but this might push twelve. I mean, I might 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 stay at eleven. I think it's going to stay at eleven. So that's eleven point four eight. So that is it. So Verizon did uh, uh pretty well in with its upload and download speeds. But let's head over to AT and T. So AT and T, we've got the LG uh G Flex L AT and T logo to string you the device and the carrier. Wi Fi isn't on any of these devices, so we we know that quite clearly. And let's go ahead and uh, restart that speed right there. See what we get. So AT&T rough the gun is trying to compete. So it <clears throat> looks like we're going to get around 30 something for AT&T off the bat. Ah, it's pushing real hard there, pushing really hard. It's going to come up at uh, 38.74. Wow. Okay. And the upload speeds are also pushing it up. Wow. 19 point or it might be it might even hit 20 it might hit 20 who knows maybe at t might have the highest speeds overall uh we shall see on that um and looks like uh oh. is that stuck is that stuck or is that uh, what's going on there with the uploads come on come on i'm gonna have to rerun this test again at t let's see what's going on did i just lose there we go Looks like that is looks like the app has got some issues here. Results. Let's go back again. See if we can run this test. Hmm. All right. So we've had an error here. Let's try and rerun this again. Let's see what happens. For some reason, I can't find the app now. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. Sorry, I should kill the app first. That would be wise of me. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this again. So let's see what at t does. So we're discounting that record uh, 38.74 because we didn't get an upload speed with that. And also that didn't actually finish. Um, Jesus Christ. Well, I guess at t is coming back with a vengeance now. And um, speeds are topping close to 43.06. Okay, so at and I guess, was trying to get all warmed up and ready to roll. And uh, upload speed is also pushing close to that 20 mark. Um, it looks like uh, we uh, we probably might not see 20 on this one. 19.78. All right, so first test. Let's go to the second one on at and Will we hit 50 on at and at this point? Will we hit 50? Let's see, we're probably going to do 43.05. Very close and consistent numbers there. Uh, 
19, oh, 20.03. And one more test, and then we will tally up our numbers and see who basically is the winner here and how we will pair them up in terms of level of uh, success in terms of LTE speed. So one last run here. It looks like, yeah, okay, it looks like ATT is kind of slowed down from his 40, 40 ranking, and that is 37.81. And looky here, okay, that is about, you know, we've come down to earth a little bit, and probably be in the, okay, it's moving up a little bit more, but it's probably going to end in the 19 range, 19.18. All right, so All right guys, they, uh, and it. basically we arrange range of devices from basically the slowest to the fastest in terms of carriers, and the slowest carrier being starting on the left, and the fastest carrier starting on the right. So the first carrier which had the slowest speeds in LTE speeds total was Sprint here. So we tested Sprint on the HTC One Max, and Sprint basically came up with a download speeds average of 14.17, and the average upload speeds of 6.73 megabits per second. So that was what Sprint gave us, and that's what Sprint Spark and Sprint gave us in the Boston area at a roughly around 1.30 to about 1.45, 2 a.m. in the morning. So basically, we picked that time because we thought there'd be less people on the networks around. Now, coming in fourth is actually Boost Mobile. Boost Mobile basically got us 21.32 megabits per second uh, for downloads and 6.236 megabits per second for uploads. So pretty distant and consistent with some of the numbers you just see right there on screen. So uh, mind you, Boost Mobile is part of the Sprint network. So it's interesting to see that their low cost carrier actually does have better speeds. Now, surprisingly in third is Verizon. Verizon actually came up with 34.05 megabits per seconds for downloads on average and 11.65 megabits per seconds for uploads on average. So surprising to see Verizon they're considering they're the first guys with LTE on the market. But the speeds also are close to consistency with what we have. And we'll show you all the general speeds on these devices just as a quick look through. Now, coming in second is T-Mobile. So T-Mobile is making a lot of fuss lately. And it looks that's like that's been paying off. Second here in LTE speeds, fastest LTE speeds, T-Mobile, with an average of 34.05 and uh, for downloads and uploads an average of 80. Uh, sorry, I apologize. T-Mobile's average is 36.88. And the uh, for average download speeds and the upload speeds average is 18.196 for T-Mobile. So that's actually pretty cool. T-Mobile actually hit those numbers pretty high. So a lot of that talk they've been talking about, I've been shouting about lately has actually come true. And the winner of our 4G LT challenge in 2014 is AT&T. AT&T basically came out swinging with average download speeds of 41.306 megabits per second. Literally, this thing is faster than most people's home internet. Uh, net. And I'm mean, probably twice as fast because the average now is like 20 megabits per second. And the average upload speeds of 19.66 megabits per second. Now, that's pretty cool. AT&T's network is really, really short. Well, here in my area, that they are pretty much the fastest and probably the fastest in speeds that we'll probably get. Now, in terms of numbers, just pure numbers, the fastest download speeds came from AT&T at uh, 43.06 for download speeds. And then uh, the fastest upload speeds were also from AT&T at 20.03. Now the slowest, the slowest download speeds came from Sprint and that lowest one was 13.30 and the slowest upload speeds came from Metro PCS at 16.14. So you can see the general speeds here. I'm just going to zoom in a little closer so you guys can take a look across the board. You can see what uh, Sprint does an average. You can see what uh, Boost Mobile does an average, just in general speeds that we've run. Also, you can see that from Verizon as well here as uh, T-Mobile. This uh, Wi-Fi don't count those. This is actually the speeds you care about. And that's also here from AT&T on the far right-hand corner over there. So there we have it. Our LTE champion is AT&T. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or uh, or you're using one of these carriers. Let me know what your LTE speeds are and what area you live in. So we know who is faster in that area, at least what kind of speeds you are getting. But for me here in the Boston area, 
it is literally AT&T. The fastest speeds downloads the, uh, on average of about 41.30 and uploads of 19.66. You know, our fastest speed we actually got here was 43.06 and upload again was 19.78. So that's pretty fast stuff altogether. So yeah, let us know. Also guys, do like this video and share this video so we can make more videos for you. Also subscribe to the channel. It's very important you subscribe so we so we know who you are and we can make more videos for you. And uh, we also have a lot of contests going on that we always do on a monthly basis on the channel, on the website board at work, and also through our other social media outlets. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.